New York is this week the scene of the start of the ninth round of negotiations of the trade agreement between the United States and the European Union, better known as TTIP. Even if there's not yet an official position, the European Parliament has drawn already some red lines. The arbitration mechanism, known as ISDS, and the transparency are still some of the main concerns. One thing that all political parties seem to agree on is that a deal is unlikely before the end of the year, as some politicians, like Merkel, were hoping for. It will take months, if not years, to come to a good agreement. A lot of controversial points. And so, no, I don't think that's really feasible. And we had uh, very uh, strong demonstrations uh, the other day all across Europe and uh, th this makes things much more difficult for those who want to, to close very quickly the, uh, the, um, the treaty. Public opinion seems to be more aware of this debate. Last Saturday thousands of people participated in more than 700 events in Europe and in the United States. Transparency is still one of the biggest issues. The Commission put in place a reading room where members of the Parliament can read some confidential documents for two hours. But some MEPs complain about the conditions of this exercise. Uh, having access to documents after being our pen, our book notes and our mobile phones taken out and uh, under a permanent control of, a, a, of an official civil servant from the EU institution. And they claim that this is not enough. Uh, some technical documents in, uh, in two hours, it's very difficult to swallow for an MEP. So having a democratic control of the documents that are provided to us also means that we can have uh, an in-depth analysis with our advisors. The European People's Party insists that more transparency could interfere in the negotiating process. If we make some of those documents public now, uh, there's no need for negotiations anymore. However, they also admit some room for small improvements. I would be happy if we could improve transparency in a way that, for instance, um, colleagues in Parliament can ask someone from the Commission uh, joining them while they are in the reading room, that if they have questions... Last week, 14 Parliament committees voted opinion reports with almost 900 amendments. Votes made clear one of the strongest red lines, ISDS, an arbitration mechanism between investors and states. A lot of committees voted, for example, against this old-fashioned ISDS instrument. In the Parliament, there's a growing, uh, a growing uh, concern about the ISDS. Socialists don't agree with ISDS, but they recognize the need of protecting investors with an alternative mechanism. We oppose ISDS and TTIP and, as I mentioned before, reflect on an international instrument for investment protection. Ideally, uh, it should be under the roof of uh, WTO. The centre-right, on the other hand, admits some need of reforming the current proposal. Not a light ISDS, no, but um, I think a more democratic, a more transparent and a more advanced ISDS. We need uh, some uh, revision possibilities, a kind of second um, court, if, if, if someone is not happy with the outcome of the first round, that's of course what we need. Um, we should think about having an international court. Uh, I also like this idea. We will have to wait until June to see what the official position of the Parliament is going to be regarding the ISDS mechanism, but also regarding the many other topics affected by the treaty.